So as a reminder, there's a class called Java Lang Exception. You don't need to import that because all of java.lang is imported by default into Java. But every exception extends this exception class. And so we have an exception. This is our main class. And then you guys have seen lots of null pointer exceptions, right? You guys have seen the array index out of bounds exception. You guys have seen a no such element exception. And the point about each of these exceptions is that they tell you something about what went wrong with your code. So if you're trying to debug your code and you get an error message, if you get an error message that says you've got a null pointer exception, you know, OK, cool. I know what's gone wrong. I know what I'm looking for. That gives me a clue how to fix the problem. On the other hand, if you just got an exception, if every time you had an error, it just said exception, there's an exception at line 52, you wouldn't know, is it a null pointer exception? Is it an array out of pounds exception? Is it a no such element exception? What's going on, right? And so the idea is that the name of the exception clues you into what's going wrong, and it helps you in that debugging process. The way that each of these classes do that is that they extend the exception class. So this is going back to our inheritance again that we've already seen. And so what we're going to do is we're going to extend the exception class with our own exception. And if you're writing Java code, this is a great way to both personalize the code and increase your ability to debug the code. You can throw your own exceptions if things are not working out the way that you want them to. Okay. And our exception class is exceptionally easy. <laughs> as we'll see. So we're going to have a package exceptions. It's always good to put things together that are related to each other. And so if you were writing a lot of exceptions, you'd put them in one package, and then you knew where they were. And we're going to have a class, public class. Ours is called file. Format exception. But you can call it whatever you want for other things. For this, you have to call it that. And the key is that we're going to extend exception. OK, we're extending the exception class. The exception class is going to do all of the heavy lifting for us. We're basically not going to do anything at all. We're just going to be lazy. The best thing about programming is being lazy. And so we're going to have a constructor. We're going to have two constructors. The first is our default constructor, file format exception. And file format exception, all it's going to do is say, Let's call super. The second constructor is going to take a string. We're going to take a string called s, and we're going to call super, and we're going to pass s in. So we have our default constructor that doesn't take any arguments, and all it's doing is calling super, and super means if you're extending something, call the constructor for whatever you're extending. Yeah? And then we have another constructor where we take a string and we say, you know what, I don't know how to handle the string. We're just going to let the exception class do it. That's it. That's our entire exception. 
And if you, when you're creating classes in, in Eclipse, if you take a look at the class and you say, I want to extend exception, there's a button in Eclipse that says, um, generate constructors from the superclass. And so it will actually generate this code for you. What this allows you to do is to have your file format exception. You can throw an exception when the person catches it or when, the, when something happens. You get all of the methods in exception, like print stack trace and print out the message, get message, all of those kinds of things. And they have all of those um, methods available to them that they can use. And you can pass in a particular message, and you can, you can call this in your code by saying, throw new file format exception. And you can either just use the default constructor, or you can say the format of your file, your file um, sucks. is not well formatted. Might be a better way to phrase that. It depends who you're writing error messages for. Okay. So this is the string that gets passed into this method, into this constructor, which then gets passed to super forget message. 